reacting or hope this won't be bad. And also, and then many cool things. Just... Think of anything else it could have been. So what do you think it was? Ooh. That's uh, that's ad. I was scared for a sec. I've been a trucker since my mid-twenties. I've had many odd experiences on the road. I'm pretty sure that I've come across a couple of UFOs while driving late at night cool. and encountered many strange drivers at times. However, the encounter I'm going to share today is by far the most terrifying and strange experience I've ever had. This happened on a country road in the middle country of Kansas. Country road! 37. The year was 2009. Oh. The night started oh, off like most nights, which consisted of me driving and listening to some music on the radio, usually drinking some coffee to keep myself from getting too tired. As I drove through the night on the empty road, I had noticed that it began to get foggy. This fog eventually became very thick, and I started thinking to myself whether I should pull over for a while, as I could barely see ahead, or keep driving. I thought about it and decided to continue on. There were zero other people so far out driving in the middle of the country. Makes sense. So Fog. maybe it was safer than I thought. I still took precaution. I was going slowly, just in case an animal or something were to run across the road. Dearly getting smarter. As I continued driving, I started to pick up an odor. This odor was the most foul thing I've ever smelled, and it soon filled the inside of my truck. I quickly closed the windows, but that didn't help. This terrible smell was already inside, and I felt as if I was going to vomit. The smell and the fog became overwhelming. I remember thinking to myself, what in the world could be causing such an awful stench? I in that before? same moment, I felt that unpleasant feeling when you know you're about to throw up. I had no choice but to quickly stop the truck and open the door to empty Whoa, my stomach. Is that disgusting? Really? When I was finished, I quickly covered my face as that horrible smell was still in the air. I closed the door and prepared myself to start driving again. And that's when I noticed something ahead crossing the road. The figure was unmistakably a man, and this man appeared to be limping. Other than his limping, I also noticed that the man was wearing an old white button shirt and black suspenders. I recall thinking to myself how strange and freaky the situation was, and not knowing what to do. I decided that I was just going to ask if he was okay. Yeah, I'll do the same thing too. Anyone for help. Good trucker. Before I was able to drive up to him, I soon noticed that four more people came out from the side of the road all walking in the same direction as the first man I saw. Each of them were walking in that same odd, limping gait, all of them wearing outdated farming clothes. What I found even more strange was the fact that they didn't acknowledge the huge truck that was on the other side of the road. I thought to myself, if these people needed help, then surely they would come to me. Mm. Whether it's a last second bake sale, Taco <laughs> Tuesday, all of them continued limping across the road, disappearing into the darkness and the fog. I must also remind you we were in the middle of Kansas, so Ooh. basically the middle of nowhere. Just then, another figure emerged from the darkness and began to cross the road, too. However, this figure was far smaller. I soon realized that this was a child. I got out of my truck, but I did not go up to the kid. Rather, I stared at him as he continued to cross the road. This child was also walking in a weird way, and was wearing that old clothing, too. Right when he was about to make it to the other side, I said aloud, Do any of you need help? The child stopped turning his head to face me. My heart sank all the way to my feet as soon as I saw his face. I 
I wasn't looking at the face of an ordinary child. I was looking oh my at the god! Of the corpse. I cursed under my breath and stood there in fear. This thing then let out the most awful scream I've ever heard and began to limp towards me, That's but at a disgusting. quicker speed than before. I quickly got back inside the truck and slammed the door shut. In that very moment... What the hell, Lance is in entertainment? What the hell? I thought I was going to make some funny, um, little reaction things they're going to do, but you... That was horrifying! That was actually horrifying! I heard even more of those horrifying screams. Run them over! These Run them over! Emerge from the darkness. I quickly swerved around the kid, speeding out of there as quick as I could. During that whole ordeal, I saw the faces of the other ones that were coming. And they all had the face of decomposed corpses. Once I made it back to Damn civilization, Kansas. I stopped at a gas station. I just sat there in my truck. My mind and heart were still racing and had no idea what to think. This experience opened me up to many things. I feel like I understand that this world is indeed strange. And there might always be things which we do not understand. Please don't be a jump scare. Please don't be a jump scare. Eh. Don't be. Oh, thank God. Ooh. You probably I deserve to use some of them. And I'm from Germany. Huh. I have experienced this incident when I was 12 years old. One day, I went to my grandparents' house to stay for a while. The house was quite an old one and was located in a pretty isolated area. When I arrived there, it was already late and dark outside. I stayed with my grandmother in the living room, and then I asked her a question. Granny, what was the scariest thing you've experienced? Oh, she no. replied, Well, I think you're too young to hear it, dear. However, I kept convincing her to tell me her story. For your information... She's probably going to have some PTSD. She's like, oh no. Why did you remind me of it, child? My grandma has a backstory when she comes from an old, small village in Turkey where still people ride on horses. Oh, Eventually, cool. she began the story. It's not my fault if you can't sleep tonight. She asked me if I know how the devil looked like, and I said they look like red man with spikes on their forehead. Well, the devil has a split tongue, and he has only three fingers on both hands. The fingernails are so sharp that they could slice the meat almost in half. So solid. And the air he is breathing is dead souls. Her description was so detailed that I could almost imagine clearly, and I was a bit scared. And she then told me that she once had seen him a few years ago. It has become... Okay, so... I thought... Okay, so Angel's probably has some claws as well. But what's the reason for the split tongue? People do it with their tongues sometimes, okay. I'm a little bit creeped out. I'm gonna cry. I thought it's gonna be some funny thing I'm gonna do, but I'm scared. Right in front of her eyes when she had a heart attack, and then she saw something red thing approaching her. I'm scared. She could see him clearly, and it was definitely something else. <laughs> he said to her, but she refused. I didn't commit any sin. Why are you going to take me? Then Satan replied, Silence! You are going to come with me. She yelled, Shut up! You're going to come with me, you stupid bitch! You're going to come with me! I know what you did! Satan probably like, Oh, I got the wrong person. I hope uh, Michael and the others not going to smite me down. Shit, they're here! No! He stared at her for a moment and opened his mouth. No one ever huh. Okay, so that's what Satan's look like. Just 
All cre all angels have eyes. Why not? When he disappeared, it. my grandma finally woke up from a coma, it. and she realized that two years have been passed. My mom told her that her brother got lung cancer and nearly died. After leaving the hospital, she went to visit him, asking if he had seen something. That night, I saw a red man, and he said like this, She doesn't want to come. She doesn't want to come. He replied, After that, A red man? They actually look like red people or something? I think Satan just, like, gave him images of Uncane Valley to pee himself or something. And uh, one with one eye, which is his true form, like, sup, bitch. Dad, my grandma told about him to the whole family. Everyone believed it, except me, who was a little kid. Granny, I don't remember. I know. You were pretty young at that time, sweetie. After finishing drinking a hot chocolate, I ended up going to bed. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If you know about it, are you actually going to have nightmares? Oh. Fuck it, five days ago. Please don't tell me everyone else, like, had nightmares. I don't want to have any nightmares. I don't want you to have nightmares either, Bean Fungus. I'm just watching this video. Okay, uh... Okay, there's no... Okay. okay, no one had any nightmares. <laughs> Why they always investigate, Eddie? I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Where's the people that had nightmares? Go to the fucking trial? Oh, yeah, I'm too. Okay. Where's people that had a nightmare? Because I want to. Everyone had a nightmare because I don't want to. Mm hmm. I'm going to type, please don't tell. I'm just curious, okay? I'm scared. However, I couldn't close my eyes because of the story that my grandma had told me. Then, I suddenly heard someone open the door that I had locked. I'm covering. There was a clock in the room. When I saw the clock, I could see that it said 4.61 a.m. There is no way that 61 minutes can exist. Something I'm covering was wrong. it with my, with I my hand. I grabbed my phone and turned on the lights. And there he was, the red man, Satan. Being scared, Please. I screamed at the top of my lungs. I immediately hid under my blankets, and that's when I felt a sharp pain on my left arm. Yo, he can be... He, he's physical? Oh my god, he's physical! I heard at that moment. I didn't know he was from After his dimension. After seconds, my grandpa ran into the room with his baseball bat, but he was already disappeared. While he was driving me to the hospital, he kept praying on the way. It took around 30 minutes to drive to the nearest hospital, and I eventually had to stitch my wound on my arm. This happened He's six from years this ago, dimension. but I still have scars on my arm. Thankfully, I have not been encountered something like this anymore. Because you prayed. Can you help Luckily me? Luckily I'm black, because I pray all the time. I'm activating your safety network. Well, she Alerting is too, but members. I don't know anymore. Okay, I'm done. Goodbye. I'm going to cry to sleep.